guys, how's it going? Today I want to show you this beautiful daisy blooming in my garden right now. This is a perennial called Amazing Daisies, Daisy May. This is only its second season being planted in this spot in my garden and I'm just so thrilled with how it looks. I thought you might like to see what it looks like at this time of year. Now it's been blooming like this for a few weeks now and you know the first thing you notice is that it's got the beautiful traditional Shasta daisy like flowers, beautiful clear white petals with that really bright yellow center. But the difference with this variety versus the traditional varieties is that it's much better branched. So if you come in right here, you can see like on this particular branch here, there are three blooms already blooming and it's already budding up down below. So what that does is one, it creates a ton more blooms on your plants. So it looks way more full, but it also makes it a really good contender for containers because instead of having to come back or come in rather, after it's done with its first intense flush of blooms and cut it back, you can individually deadhead this variety and it will keep throwing out blooms all season long. So you can use it in the landscape and in containers and you know you'll have color that entire season. Now, if you don't have the time to do that because there are so many flowers that might be a little bit of a time push, you can come in and shear it back like normal Shasta daisies and then it will flush back another beautiful bloom in the season. So this one is a zone five through nine, really loves our garden here, high desert. Um, it takes just average moisture. We have a drip system that runs through this bed that feeds everything in this area. Um, so it hasn't really required anything extra in terms of water and it attracts bees and butterflies. I have five of them planted in this drift right here. And I know it might be a little hard to see because I do have a Mary Rose rose right there, which is bright pink. It just got through with its first bloom flush and boy, it was beautiful when it was backed by these white daisies kind of ringing around the back. But we'll try to get some shots from all the way around because it's incredible. These, this plant just has blooms from top almost all the way down. And what really impressed me as well, this past weekend we had over 24 hours of really heavy rain. And when you're dealing with taller perennials like this that have a lot of blooms on the top, oftentimes excessive moisture will make them very heavy, will make them want to lean over or flop over until they dry off. This one stayed completely upright. We had a tiny bit of separation right here at the tallest point, and that is it. I kept looking out here kind of expecting to see it, you know, looking a little bit weary and it just didn't. So I was really impressed by that. So anyway, if you're looking for a daisy that performs like this, I just wanted to show you what Daisy May has done for us. Now we did throw a shade up for this video so I wasn't squinting at you, but typically this is in full sun all day long. And I do feel like that has made it perform as well as it has because it gets so much sun and that's really what they do require. So anyway, thought you guys might enjoy seeing this because things look vastly different in a garden situation after you've had time to grow them on uh, versus what they look like in their nursery containers. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.